All right, we are here to introduce you to a new fun toy that we got for our camper van. Uh, this is the Zero Breeze Mark II. It is a portable AC. So the previous few summers, we have not needed an air conditioning because we have been traveling in the fall. Uh, and this meant nice and cool temperatures and really we were using our heater in our van a lot. But this summer, uh, we plan to travel in the summer uh, out east and we knew that temperatures were gonna be significantly hotter. So what you see here is what you get when you order the air conditioner. We have some venting pipes here. We have the charging contraption. And I'll explain this in a bit. We have a drainage hole, the actual unit, and underneath the unit, we have the battery. Uh, so you can buy this unit as a standalone that just hooks up to AC power. Uh, if you're always gonna be camping with AC power, then you can hook that up and it's a little cheaper. Uh, if you want to take it a bit more remote and you're not always going to have AC power, then you might opt for the additional battery down below. Uh, with the battery contraption, uh, it lasts about three to five hours, depending on how uh, high you have it, uh, what high setting you have it at. Oh. <laughs> Just turned on there by accident. So what are some of the stats for this AC unit? Uh, well, it is a 2300 BTU AC. So it's a little underpowered compared to conventional rooftop ACs or split air systems that you might have in a house. As I said before, it lasts around three to five hours. Uh, you can use it corded or uncorded. Uh, so with the battery there. Uh, the other thing as well is that it can drop the temperature in your room by up to 15 degrees Celsius. Obviously that depends a lot on the temperature outside and how well insulated your van is. If you don't have insulation on your van, if you don't have window covers, and you try to use this in super hot 30 degree, 100 degree Fahrenheit weather, it's not gonna work. Uh, it's not that powerful. And quite frankly, most other air conditioners are not that powerful either. So you definitely need a bit of insulation and insulation covers. Uh, it's actually pretty light as well. So it only weighs uh, 16 pounds, the unit itself, and the battery underneath is an extra 12 pounds. Now, the thing to know about this battery is it is a little pricey. It's around $500 for the battery and $1,000 for the unit. Now, when you compare that to ACs that you might get for your van, that's actually a pretty good price. The battery itself, which costs 500, uh, it's actually almost similar to a battery that you would have in your van. It's a 24 volt battery uh, and it's around 75 amp hours if you convert it into 12 volts. Uh, at, 20, 20, uh, 12, bleh, at 24 volts, uh, it is 35 amp hours. So that is why the battery is pricey because that's just the cost of lithium batteries. The unit itself, the way it works is you have two rocket ducts at the back here. Uh, the one on this side is your air uh, outlet. So it's what's gonna shoot hot air it's getting when from when it gets produced cold air inside it's going to shoot hot air out the other side over here is going to do the be the air inlet so it's bringing fresh air into your ac and then here at the front there is a little vent kind of like what you would have in a car that you can tilt up and down and that's going to be your control for uh, shifting where you want to point the ac at you have a few settings here at the top your on button uh, how powerful you want the ac to be uh, if you just want it to be a fan, uh, there's a turbo mode, uh, a sleep mode, and then some light. The other thing to remember is because this is a battery, it's pretty much a giant battery bank. It has a USB-C and two USBs in the front that you could use in case you ran out of power. Or if you were camping and you didn't have any other power source, that would also work for you. It can charge Macro Pro, it's 45 watts. Uh, so that's pretty convenient to have this giant battery, just as a giant battery bank that you can take with you. Um, what we've done specifically for our van is because this is a spot AC portable air conditioner, we didn't want to install it permanently in our van in case we want to go camping in a tent or take it anywhere else. Uh, sometimes we stay in cool little tiny homes or dome tents or anything like that. So we wanted to keep it uh, as flexible and portable as possible. So I have built this little contraption here. And what we've done is they have this little cover here, which I guess you could install in a roof or something like that. This duct would then connect into here. And that's what's gonna power out your hot air. Uh, and then obviously your cold air would come out of there. Uh, your air intake. So the air outtake, we have it vented to one of our max air fan uh, in, uh, cover areas. So where the fan is inside, there's always a little bit of a gap. I've put this half inch of uh, insulation foam and then we've covered it with some material that fits in perfectly into our fan. 
and that then allows us to vent all the hot air and keep all the cold air in. Now that we're done with all the specs of the AC, let's go inside the van and we're going to show you how it works. So this is the contraption that I built to help us vent the hot air from the AC out. As I said before, it uses the max air inlet area, the fan area, to vent that air out. So when you're hooking this up, first what we like to do is we like to turn on the fan and we make sure that it's venting air outwards. Uh, we don't want it to be pushing air when this is trying to push air at the same time. I'm not going to turn it on now though because then it's going to start making a lot of sound. Uh, so the first thing to do is we need to hook it up to the back here. Uh, obviously make sure that you hook it up to the right side. Uh, which is the side that actually vents air. So we just turn that on right there. And then, this is going to get a little loud. We just stretch this guy out. Until we get him in the cover. So, he's inside the cover, like that. Everything's good. We have our water uh, duct out the back here and into a little water bottle to collect water. Uh, it's very important to put that there. We have noticed that it probably shoots out about a cup of water in an hour to two hours. So make sure that you have something there to capture that water so you don't end up with an unexpected leak. Once that's done, uh, you can turn on the power button at the front and then press on. We're on turbo mode right now and it's going to start warming up. It takes about 10 minutes to get up to full power. Uh, it is using a micro uh, compressor inside there. And that's it. Uh, from here on out, you can just push this and vent it in whichever way you want. And that cold air is going to start pumping out. Uh, things to remember with this AC is that this is a spot AC. So this AC is not necessarily meant to keep your van cold all the time uh, throughout the whole van. This is meant for directional cooling. Uh, so this AC hitting you is really what's going to create a lot of cooling in your area. Uh, if we have this turned on, the front of the van is still going to be hot. As you can see here, we have a insulated cover that protects from the front. We also have insulated covers on the side of our windows and our whole van is uh, insulated as well. I'm going to turn this off right now because it might be a little loud. So we've been using the AC now for a few weeks, almost a month. Uh, we haven't actually slept with it yet because the nights have not been hot enough to justify using the AC. Uh, if we are going to sleep with it, then what we'd probably do is we'd hook it up to the AC power in our van because we do have 600 amp hours of battery in our van. So it is very good. Uh, it has worked for us so far. Uh, we've used it when we've kind of come into camp in the late afternoon and it's a little hot and maybe we want to work on our computers and for me to successfully have some naps throughout the day. Uh, that works very well, even though it's very hot outside and they don't always recommend you using it when it's midday, sun penetrating your van it has cooled down the van inside here by by, uh, by about five degrees celsius for us uh, which is pretty cool because then it goes from about being 28 to about 23 and that's a pretty good napping temperature for myself uh, do we recommend this uh, look i think when anyone is looking at buying this portable ac versus installing something else on their van a lot of it's going to come down to cost uh, most acs that you put on your van once you factor in the fact that the AC itself is gonna cost between two to five grand. Uh, you're then going to have to wire that. You're gonna to have to buy significantly more batteries. If you're gonna have an AC installed full time, uh, you're gonna, like we have 400 amps of battery right now, amp hours, you need to double that if you actually wanna use an AC because they obviously kick up a lot more, uh, use up a lot more juice as well. Uh, so that's one thing to consider. Also, it takes up lots of real estate on your roof. Uh, so if we wanted to install another AC, that would either mean taking away one of our fans or taking away one of our panels. And our 300 watt panels helps keep our batteries full. So that's a pretty important thing for us. Uh, as we said, it's pretty small. Uh, we keep it underneath of the seat in our van. Uh, it just stores underneath there next to some uh, winter clothes and toolbox and stuff like that. Uh, so it's not too big, but obviously you have to make sure that you have room for this. Uh, other than that, uh, do we recommend it? Uh, I would. I'd recommend it if it fits your use case. Uh, the use case, like I said before, if you need a portable AC, if you're maybe camping, if you're jumping from the van to other things where you might want to provide this spot cooling, that's pretty good. Uh, think of that, think of this as a camping version of the portable ACs that some people have in their houses where they might want to switch it from room to room. This is just being able to switch it from a van to a tent 
uh, to even a room. You could put this inside a house if you wanted to and have it spot cooling inside your office if you don't have AC, inside of a tool shed. But like I said, spot cooling. This is not going to cool a huge workshop, but it will help cool an area where you are working or sleeping. Uh, so that's pretty much it from us. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this review. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Uh, we'll try to answer as many of them as you can. And yeah, see you later.